trying to stop me from chopping up with the family. What's up, Juan Kwame? All right, we back. What's up, Veins? What's up, Jay Money? Jay Monet? All right, we're back. What's up, Redbone19? All right. All right, so we're back. Hopefully, you know, we don't have too many bugs and, and slip-ups here. What's up, Queen? What's up, Anisha Jackson? All right. Wait, no one Tesla to get in here. Yeah. Beautiful baby girl. Yeah, shout out to little baby Coco Anisha. What's up, Bridget? Man. Real talk, Bambi. Yeah, we're out here standing 10 toes down. In yeah, Instagram has a lot of glitches this week. Yeah, it it's funny style. All right. Better? We good? I think we're good for right now. I, I, the Instagram has just been tripping this week. What's up, Nova? Throw Kyrie under the bus. It was a very bad look. They're trying to whip black folks into submission. Thank you so much, she. What's up, West Wing? Man. What's up, the Fox Flame? What's up, um, I am Mike the Barber. Barber, what city you in, Mike the Barber? Because I'm always looking for barbers in different cities. I'm always looking for barbers in different cities. Baltimore is in here. Shout out to B Moore. Yeah. James, nobody cares, brother. James Menace, nobody cares, brother. You're in here gossiping. Nobody cares. Talking about what such and such said. Doesn't matter, man. That's gossip stuff. And a lot of tethers like to engage in that kind of goofy gossip. We're on another vibe right now, brother. I'm not even tripping on that. Man, we got a, a, a bunch of people in town for something constructive and productive. That's what we're fo focusing on, brother. What's up, Lady Benji? You said, I'm sure we is fine. I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm all right. I do what I do. I do what I damn do. Yeah, we got to protect Kyrie. What's up, yo girl? Man, we in here though, man. Look, Oakland in the house. Yeah, they're, they're trying to buck break us, man. This is why we got to start standing up for our damn selves. The way they're doing these brothers in the NBA, they're setting an, an example with these guys. They're making an, an example out of them. They're just making an example out of these dudes. Man, some of the Sam Boeing that we saw this week with these folks, and they got some kind of memo to all dump on Kyrie Irving because Kyrie is a proxy for all of us. Kyrie is a proxy for all of us. Yeah. Yeah, the, he, Kyrie apologized and they turned around and said, well, that ain't enough. Yeah, his apology ain't enough. He's going to have to sit down with leaders of our community. And, oh, man, please, please. We got to start standing up to this anti-black racism because this is what this is about. What's up, um, Wish? You and your lady came down from Brooklyn. Shout out to you and your lady, brother. Where's the honey loaf? Where's my sister, Narissa? The beautiful Narissa. Is she in here? The honey loaf. Are you in here, dear? There she is. Let me get her in here. Let me get the honey loaf in here. Hop on if I, if I can get you. I'm not high. Y'all know good and well I don't do no weed. You know, it's just how my eyes look. I don't smoke weed. Y'all know that. Where you at, Narissa? Honey Loaf? They said they canceled flights from Dallas because of a tornado. Where's my homegirl? Where's the Honey Loaf? It starts at 11 a.m. tomorrow. What's up, Shauna? I see you, dear. Yeah. So is there a tornado out there near Mississippi or... or um, for the friend, we got one. Sorry, Mr. Reed. What's up, Bria? The one. Well, hop on, Bria. Talk to us. What's going? What? Oh, I didn't mean to. I'm not trying to block you, dear. Hold on. Whoops. Well, I can't add you. Okay. I'm trying to add you, dear, so you can come on. But they said you need to upgrade your your thing. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I found a good barber out here. Um, Mel the barber. Why haven't me and such and such liberate? I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. 
oh, what, Nike just suspended um, Kyrie's contract? Are you serious? Man, what's up, Choco Beauty, Coco Beauty? Wow. They just dropped him from Nike. They're making an example out of him, literally for nothing. For sharing a damn Instagram link from a website, not an Instagram, but sharing an Amazon link. And nobody has the smoke for Jeff Bezos. Nobody has that smoke for Bezos. Okay. Where's, um, okay. I thought that was Narissa. That's not Narissa. Okay. Where's the honey loaf? I wanted to get her in here. What's up? Um, what's up, man? My brother Nigel and Kyrie, Kalik, Kalik. Where's Kalik, man? How's Kalik doing? How's my good brother Kalik? What's up, Nikki the God? Nikki the God, try to hop on. Send me a request, Nikki the God, so you can hop on here. Yeah, they're janking around with my thing here. Um, I don't know what time it ends. It's, you know, so it's going to be um, probably till three, I think. Probably later. I don't know. We got the park till seven. So it'll end whenever. But uh, we're going to have a good time out there. It's going to be a nice, fun family affair. We got a DJ that's going to be out there. It's going to be a nice, um, festive and constructive um, vibe out there tomorrow. All right. What's up from Houston, Texas? I got to get down there to Houston. I got to get back down there to Houston. What's up, um, all hail? Who's that? Um, D Moore, Vegas VIP. Remember you from the 818? What's up, D? Let me see who D is. Uh, I can't, I wish I could bring y'all on. Damon Moore. What was your street name, Damon? Damon, what was your street name back in the day? I, I, if you knew me from back in the day, I wouldn't know you by your street name. What's up, Brother Elijah? Brother Elijah Farrakhan, how you doing, sir? My good brother. Brother Elijah, are you in um, Chicago right now? Because I know there was a thing where they had to have a lot of brothers um, from the NOI out in um, Chicago this weekend. There was something going on that they wanted everybody out there in Chicago. You sent me some info on a go-go in DC. Okay. Yeah, I think there might be an after party. Um, Connie's taking care of that. It's um, She's up there now at the venue, I think. I think she's going up there now to chop it up with them. I'll get the name of the venue where it might be. It might be. It might be. Because some people have been asking about that. What's up? Um, I am S. Cole from Dayton, Ohio. Well, thank you very much, Tiffany. Strength in numbers. So I was looking fly in the glasses. Which, which glasses did I have on? I forgot which glasses I had on. Uh, can't wait for, I can't wait to see you guys. But yeah, D.C. is a great vibe, man. I love the people up here in D.C. And again, man, we got to start standing together because, again, when we start getting attacked like our brother Kyrie is being attacked, and remember, they're using Kyrie as a proxy for all Black people. And what, what happened, family, is that a lot of these people who are attacking Kyrie, the white supremacists, what they've done, they overplayed their hand on this one. You understand what I'm saying? With this Kyrie situation, let me tell you something. Let me tell you why this Kyrie situation is, is significant. See, the thing is, when they went after Kanye, Kanye didn't get a lot of Black support. A lot of Black people didn't really trip on them going after Kanye. And I want to explain something to you, and I explained this to Black people before. When the dominant society lynches a Black person or smacks a Black person around, the name of the game is to create outrage among the Black masses. You understand? <clears throat> Whenever they smack us around or they get a Black person to make an example out of them, the name of the game is to get outrage from the Black masses. This is why they usually get a person who is innocent. When you get an innocent Black person and, and unjustly mistreat them systematically, 
you know that there's going to be outrage from the black masses of us saying, no, 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 why are you doing this to our brother? He didn't do anything. And white supremacist society saying, yes, we're white and we say so, so he did do something because we said so. See, with Kanye, they didn't get that with Kanye. With Kanye, we, didn't, they, we weren't really outraged with them taking Kanye's deals away because we, we expected it. And plus, Kanye was kind of dumping on black society. So we're kind of just, you know, we're like, oh, well, you know, he'll be all right. For the most part, a lot of us was like, well, he did say something reckless. So, you know, that, eh, we didn't really trip that hard. We didn't trip that hard. So they were like, oh, no, we need to make it. We need to get somebody and make an example so that the black masses will be upset about it. You there? Okay, I'm sorry about this guy. But with Kyrie, because he didn't really do anything, they're throwing him under the bus, and now they see that there's outrage because of it. But here's the problem. They overplayed their hand because they didn't expect so much pushback. We're like, hey, wait a minute. So now the, the way they're forcing their hand on Kyrie, that's getting a lot of us on code, and they really don't want that, you see. So it's a very interesting dynamic. But anyway, I'm gonna try to get on later. This thing is real tripping. Um, but listen, go to Rally for Reparations, rallyforreparations.com. Make a donation, ladies and gentlemen, and let's make it do what it do. Other than that, we'll see you tomorrow. Peace.